most watched entertainment news program in the world. Michael J. Fox is our top Hollywood story. Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Goer. And I'm Mary Hart. He has longer hair and looks very relaxed. We have details of Michael's emotional public appearance first up tonight. I've described uh, Parkinson's as, as having Parkinson's as being a gift. And people think I'm nuts. And, you know, yeah, it's the gift that keeps on taking, but... <laughs> In Boston last night at a benefit for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research, Fox was warmly greeted by the large crowd and was clearly moved. What it's brought into my life and what it's taught me and the people that it's exposed me to and the giving and the, the thoughtfulness and the empathy and the, and the uh, desire to take action to help others, to, to be a witness to that is a great privilege. So far, Michael's foundation has bestowed a hefty one and a half million dollars in 15 separate research grants. There'll be a tipping point. There'll be a point where this stuff becomes inevitable, but not if we don't show up for it. Dennis Leary turned out as a small payback for a hockey charity game of Leary's that Michael attended. Originally, I asked him to be a coach, and he came and he skated, which was a huge thing, uh, and the fans loved it. Tonight's event was a screening for What's the Worst That Could Happen, a comedy directed by Sam Weissman, who got his start directing Michael in Family Ties. If anyone can uh, help find a cure for this, I think he can. It's going to happen, and I appreciate the help, and I appreciate the support. He is something, isn't he? I'll be talking to Michael this weekend about his new film, Atlantis, The Lost